Hi, welcome back to Impossible 2.0. Next up, I have Aries. Aries, I know you guys is cursing me out like, where the fuck is this bitch at with our reading? Guys, I had gotten into an altercation on Halloween with a fucking guy, okay, that he pushed me on the floor and shit. It's a long story, but yeah, I was recording. Um, there was a group of guys out there standing, and I had asked, like, can I, you know, I recorded. I'm, I was in the hood, and um, a lot of people been asking about my nails. And um, they was like, no, we were, I was like, no problem. And then all of a sudden, one of them called me a fucking bitch. Oh, did we tell this fucking bitch to stop recording us? I was like, <laughs> ain't nobody fucking recording you guys. Like, what the fuck you talking about? And honey, it got into some shit out there. But I don't even want to go there, Aries. You know, <laughs> you know, I was like, my adrenaline, yo, yeah. I had to go pick up my son that day, too. Uh, Tasha would have been locked up, guys. <laughs> Tasha, Tasha. If I didn't have to go pick up my son, uh, it, it would have been some shit out there. But let's go. Let's see what's... Oh, the time now is 12.59. Okay, so look up the angel number 12.59. 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 is 8. Unfinished business. Uh, manifestation taking place here. You may be seeing a lot of 8s as well eye candy Ooh, okay so you look much younger than what you really are some people may say that you look much younger than what you really are but you guys may be young but you guys are old souls you guys are very wise very knowledgeable but eye candy so some of you guys may have a preference we all do have a preference i'm not gonna lie you know you like what you like okay yes but you may be going after eye candy like somebody may not be what the right fit for you Okay, but because they look good, you know, that, you know, eye candy or they find you to be eye candy, you, you attract a lot of eyes. Um, that's the Aries. I mean, you guys are very fashionable. You guys are very fiery, you know, spunky, bold, right? <laughs> yes, you guys don't give a fuck. But I see that, you know, right now resting. Um, your ancestors may be trying to reach out to you. A grandmother in particular, uh, an older person is, is beside you. So you're never walking alone. This is with somebody's right beside you here, an older person right beside you here. But you guys are very knowledgeable, okay? But right now, some of you guys are getting rest. You guys are getting out of your head. Um, yes. Um, this may be an older, younger dynamic as well. So you may be older than a person, or they may be older than you. Something like that. But whoever's coming in is an old soul, and so are you, okay? But right now, it's like... Uh, a lot of deep contemplation, nostalgia going on with you, or somebody is trying to connect with you on the 5D, or your ancestors are trying to reach out to you. 101 on the clock right now. Yes. But somebody finds you to be eye candy. They can't, they, they, they can't get enough of looking at you. They're like, what? Who's that person? Who's that person? It's just an Aries. <laughs> A fiery Aries, right? Yes. Okay. So you guys may like to wear accessories in your hair as well or do hair for a living. All right. But you may you may have been child prodigies or very advanced for a young age or you grew up too fast. Some of you guys grew up too fast. Okay. Yes. You, you learned at a, uh, at a fast age survival skills. Okay. Yeah. But beauty fades. Choose someone for their inner beauty and personality. Exactly. But sexiness never dies, right? <laughs> yes, because Aries is a sexy motherfucker. So beauty fades, but sexiness never dies. Okay, so you guys are sexy, beautiful, but yeah. But spirit is saying, look, look at, look deep within. Don't go for superficial shit. What's on the outside? Go for the inside, right? And that's usually sometimes we can go for the inside too, and they still fuck us over, right? <laughs> they still be a piece of shit. You know, you try to overlook, you know, like certain things, and they still be full of shit. All right. But uh, let's continue here, guys. So let's see what you need to cut out. <laughs> All right. You know, I'm going to make this a nice, spicy reading for you guys. <laughs> I always look forward to your fucking readers, guys. Okay? Yes. I was on fire on Halloween. <laughs> okay? Yes. Yeah. No. Uh, no. Okay. So you may be dealing with a fire sign like yourself, or you may have a lot of fire in your chart. Um, you know, uh, like I do. I have a lot of fire. Um, but yeah, some of you guys may be performers or some type of magic performers. You, 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 some type of illusionist, like magic tricks, something like this. Okay. Or you work for the circus or you opening up something like this. Okay. Some type of magic tricks or illusions or something like this. But I see that you're passing people over. Like you're just like, no, you're not for me. You, you, you have mastered say no to people like, yeah, but, uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. 
but I see that some type of truth being spoken here um, as well. Be careful with fires. Okay, but you're very daring. You're very bold and you're very daring, but you're not too daring. So if somebody asks you to do something and you're just not feeling it, that is extreme, a little bit too extreme. Like, oh yeah, Aries, uh, you know, uh, how about you want to taste my shit? You're like, fuck no, uh, but you could eat mine. <laughs> you could eat mine, but I ain't eating nobody's shit. The fuck out of here. Hell no. Uh, yeah, it's a hell no, not a yeah or no. Okay, but one, wanting you to do something ridiculous. Yeah, so somebody may be trying to make fun of you here, or they trying to make you look stupid. Okay, and, or trying to ruin your reputation. And it could be a relationship, it could be a friendship, it could be anything that somebody's trying to make you look stupid here. And you're like, don't fucking play with me, because I go, uh, yeah, no, I'm not the one to play with. Okay, fire, fire, fire. Okay, don't, 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 don't do that. <laughs> you don't like embarrassment. Okay. So somebody's trying to embarrass you here or trying to make you look stupid in front of somebody here. And you're like, no. Okay, this could be gossiping as well. All right? Or like, or, or, or Aries don't know their work. Okay, look at Aries. Aries doesn't know what they're doing. Some, some shit like this in your energy. Pay it no mind, Aries. Okay? Pay it no fucking mind. All right? So let's see what else is coming out of your energy here, guys. Who's that Aries? Who's that Aries? <laughs> that song can't get out of my mind. Who's that Aries? Who sings that? Um, the Icely Brothers, I think. But it's like, who's that lady? But yeah, I'm hearing, who's that Aries? <laughs> All right, so let's go. Let's see here what else is coming out. Uh, I really like you. Boom! Somebody wants to ignite something with you here. When I see the fire, there's a lot of chemistry between you and this person, but you may not feel the same way. So they may like you, but you may not like them. Spirit is saying give this person a chance, you know, if they're not up to, you know, like they don't look the way you want them to look. They may be somebody that is good for you. That's for some of you guys, okay? But somebody's coming in that really likes you here. They want to ignite something with you here. It's going to be like, boom, like sparks here, okay? <laughs> this may be a fire sign, like I said. Well, they, this person may have a lot of fire, but this person is all about action. It's all you, okay? Yes, but uh, this may be a Leo because uh, Megan Good is a Leo. So some of you guys may be actors, actresses, or auditioning for something here, talent agents, managers. Um, but Megan the Good is a Leo. She's actually dealing with a Virgo, so you may be dealing with a Virgo as well. But you're being analytical, detailed, paying attention to pay, critical thinkers. Okay, over you, you're gonna you're gonna think things through. But some of you guys are overthinking, overthinking a situation here, up in your head about something here. But wanted to get to know you. You have a secret admirer and going with the flow. So spirit wants you to go with the flow. Okay, yes. Don't don't get turned off. Uh, you know because. You could get turned off rather easily. <laughs> the spirit say, just take your time and go with the flow. Okay? This person is going to go with the flow with you as well. Yes. All right. Let's see what else is coming out here. I told you, I really like you. Who's that Aries? <laughs> I'm telling you, that's all I keep hearing. I can't. This, this person this person's finds you to be sexy, gorgeous, handsome. Whoa, Aries. You like their fire. <laughs> you like this person's fire, man. You're gonna like their fire. They just don't stop fucking playing rings. Ooh. Some guys may be married. Okay. Somebody wants to get engaged, or you guys are get are engaged, or this is gonna be long-term commitment. Now, this could be um this could be just a collaboration of some sort, you know, like a partnership. But I see a connection, a soul connection coming in for you guys. Whoa, a symbol of love. Somebody's gonna, somebody wants to marry you here. Some of you guys are already married, getting engaged, or this person is gonna surprise you. Whoever's coming in is long term. This person is settled down kind of person here. Okay, this may be a Taurus, um, but somebody who has more. This could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. But somebody who has more principles because I did pick up Virgo, okay, or a Leo. All right, but. Whoa, I mean, go, what the fuck, Aries? Yo, what the fuck? I love this, okay? So, um, <laughs> let, let's see what else comes out here. I have to turn that heat on. Destiny. Okay, so you're going through all the phases right now. Okay, 10. There's a completion coming. 
Uh, yes, but destiny is calling you. It's like your soul purpose, your life purpose, okay? But this is like the wheel of fortune. So destiny is at play here. The wheel is still turning, okay? So let's see. So this is a destined partner coming in. You're going to be fated to meet each other. There's a reason why you're going to meet this person. So Spirit is saying give this person a chance. Um, but this person could be eye candy. So you may, have been you may have been kissing a lot of frogs in your life. And now your prince, princess is coming. That's for some of you guys. So, yeah, some of you guys are going to be intimidated by this person. Um, like, you're going to be like, oh, no, this person is not for me. Or this person, spirit saying, don't reject it. Okay, because this is something that you wish for, destiny. Okay, so this is somebody who's eye candy and you possibly feel like, whoa, okay, like, am I good enough? Spirit say, you are good enough. Go with the flow. They're going to really like you. Okay, there's going to be a lot of passionate heat between you and them, this person. But the wheel is turning, babes. All right. So um, let's see what else comes out of your energy here. Oh, let me get a working card. Okay, I'll put one of, these, one of those. Wow. Social responsibility. Okay. Yeah, somebody has their heart. Wow. You may meet this person on social media. With the clover here, luck is on your side. Luck is definitely on your side, guys. Uh, you're going to have a lucky break. You may be seeing 7-7. Seven, 7-7 seven. Seven, seven is a lucky number. Your blessings are definitely coming in. 7-7 seven, seven is 14. 14 is 5. Changes are on the way. So look at the number, the angel number 77 as well. We did go, we we was 8, right? We started with 8. So manifestation. So something that you're manifesting is coming true, coming, up, coming true. But somebody here wants to reach out to you here. Okay, somebody may be hearting your pictures, like you have a secret admirer, heart in your pictures, you don't know that they like you, they just watch you and heart your pictures, notice, think, uh, hoping that you notice them, okay, but social responsibility, so um, yeah, I see that you're regarded with your heart as well. Okay, you're, not, you're just not going to give your love away. But somebody wants to give you their love. They're coming in with their, a love offer. There's a love offer coming in or a business offer, a job offer that you're going to love. Something is that you're going to love is coming in. Okay, yeah. Um, but social responsibility. So some of you guys may be um, influencers or have your own social media base where you speak to people. So Spirit is saying be mindful of what you say to people or the information that you, you know, that you, that you um, share with people. Um, but something may have happened on social media where somebody has to clear their name or have to apologize here, either you or somebody else. But success without honor is an unseasoned diet. Some of you guys may be chefs as well or on a um, watch your blood pressure, um, watch sodium intake. Um, but success without honor is an unseasoned dish. It will satisfy your hunger, but it won't taste good. Right. So although, so it's like having success, but if nobody respects you or nobody looks up to you, then what good is that success? Right. So you always want to remain in good standing, but some, something may have happened over social media and it doesn't have to, you, you don't have to have, you don't have to be influencers, but like Facebook, you know, getting into it with people and stuff like that, or Instagram, something happened here where somebody has to take responsibilities for their own actions or what they said or something that happened here. So yes, you know, some one 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 on the clock now. So some of you guys are very successful people out there, or this is somebody that you're dealing with that's successful, or there was somebody that's successful that did something to you, and they have to take responsibilities for their actions. Some of you guys may be suing someone here for you know defamation of character or something that was said, or this is you, um, but success without honor. So it's like you know gaining that respect back, having that respect, having that good standing with people, apologizing when need be. And, and admitting, uh, taking taking ownership of your own account uh, accountability and responsibility here. Okay, so spirit is saying if you decide to open up a social media or this is a, this already happened, you know it's just being a bigger person and apologizing because you know what's good is success if nobody likes you, but uh, nobody watches you or nobody invests in you, right? Yeah. Okay, so um, let's continue here. Oh, coffin, it came in reverse, okay? Now, with coffin in reverse, your money is about to pick up here. There's going to be an end to financial burdens, okay? So, something is picking up here. Um, some of you guys are getting a new job, 
as well or work is going to pick up or you or more work is going to be added um or just getting hired you know getting uh, again getting hired yeah overcoming your challenges as well okay commitment yeah some of you guys are committed in a commitment uh committed relationship um somebody doesn't want something to end here there may be finances involved in this situation some of you guys may have a business um in a marriage as well um, yeah, but somebody something doesn't want something to somebody doesn't want something to end here. Some of you guys, a lot of people know you. You guys have your own social media with your partner here, or you guys are just well known. That's for some of you guys. Okay, so be careful with that. Um, but somebody wants to commit to you here. Okay, they do. Um, a separate position that helps you build lasting security, long term stability. Yeah, so I do see your finances turning around, getting engaged. Or getting married somebody wants to marry here or you are you guys already married okay yes one more and swift returns okay some guys may be born in the year of the horse but the effort you put in now comes back to you soon strike while you can so spirit say go after it so some of you guys are getting a new uh, again upgrading you're all about upgrading Okay, flying high with the wings, flying high, getting ready for takeoff. Some of you guys may be pilots, traveling, stewardess, work for the airlines, applying for airlines, but you're all about elevating, ascending, rising above the bullshit, obstacles, overcoming your challenges, getting your money straight, something like this. You guys may be purchasing something as well, saving your money to purchase something, but the effort you put in now, swift returns. So it's like laws of attraction. What you put out is what you get back, right? So the effort you put in now comes back to you soon. Strike while you can. So spirit is saying, now. Take action now. Don't procrastinate. Do it now. But social responsibility, you're responsible for your own action. So my, be mindful here. Destiny is calling you. Okay? Your life purpose. Yes. Rocking horse. So you may be going back and forth on a situation here. Some of you guys may have just had a baby or planning a pregnancy or you may be pregnant right now. Okay. But again, the horse. Something about the horse, the year of the horse. So yes. Okay. But you may have been, you know, some of you guys may like to rock back and forth or you guys have like a nervous tendency or you guys fidget a lot. Um, or you might, you may be going back and forth on a situation here, or this is a hot and cold situation with you and the person, uh, a love and hate relationship with you and the person, something's going on here, but it's like needing to decide something here, but you're going back and forth on a situation. This is unstable. When I see a rocking horse, it's unstable. It go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, right? Yes. But some of you guys may have this problem or this is soothing to you to fidget your leg, to shake your leg. Or to rock back and forth. Okay, but there's an impatience here with you. There's something impatience. Spirit is saying, slow down. Because I'm, I'm feeling something fast, fast. Okay, swift. Like I said, yeah, swift. Spirit is saying, slow down. Think about it. Because this is like a rocky situation here. Okay, with a idea, a business partner, a relationship, or a marriage. Okay, it's, it's on shaking ground. Okay, but it says, rocket horse. Meaning, brace yourself. It's going to be a bit rocky. But it's nothing you cannot handle. So Spirit say, brace yourself. There's challenges, but you're you're overcoming them. It's nothing that you can't handle. Two, move with grace. Speak with love. You are a spiritual being, social responsibility. So be mindful of what you say to people. It's not what you say, it's how you say it at times, right? And ignore the, the fucking haters and trolls or whatever. So move with grace, speak with love. You are a spiritual being. So some of you guys are already light workers are doing the light work out there. So be mindful of what you say. And Three, don't allow your environment to trigger you. Watch and observe, but don't react. That's right. So, and I, I reacted, guys. That was my bad. I, I shouldn't have reacted, but I did react. I, I was a fool out there. But <laughs> but anyway, um, don't allow your environment to trigger you. So whether that's, that's at work, in a home, living with people, where, wherever you may be, or don't get into other people's bullshit. Watch and observe, but don't react. Don't entertain it and don't jump into anybody else's problem. Okay, monitor your energy. Care required. Okay, some of you guys may work in a nursing home or be home health aides or um, what, what is this? Uh, midwives, you know. OBGYN, doctors, something like this, nurse, uh, health care field. But you need to take care of yourself. Okay. But guard yourself against deception. 
You need to think about this. Guard yourself against deception and be careful of making foolish mistakes at this time. And this is something serious with a commitment. Something here that is spirit saying don't rush into something here. Oh, you may have rushed into something and now you feel like you made a mistake. Okay, but guard yourself against deception. Care required. And be careful of making foolish mistakes at this time. Okay? Hold on, guys. Okay, guys, let's continue here. See what else comes out for you guys. Wheel. It came out in reverse. Indecisiveness. Okay, so you're coming to a conclusion here. Allowing yourself, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. No. No, no, no. You're not doing that. You're at a pause. Okay? Some of you guys may have be having car problems or work like, you know, in a tire shop or something like this. But yes somebody tried to ride it was an indecision here you made the decision to walk away or to end something here that's what some of you guys you're not letting your life get out of control here you're not but spirit is saying you need to you need to take a pause because something is your your it's you made your decision but spirit is saying be careful with the seat here be mindful of what your this is the decision that you're making here wall it says misunderstanding so there was a misunderstanding or you're gonna have a misunderstanding with somebody here but it's like Hitting a brick wall here, okay? Be careful with car accidents as well. Okay, yeah. Uh, scales, balance. You may be dealing with a Libra, okay? Or be going to court here, but something with, something is an imbalance here. And some spirit is saying you need to open your eyes here to, 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 you know, with this deception. You may be doing more than the other, okay? Or investing more time than the other or money, something like this. But keep your life in balance. So spirit is saying keep your life in balance. It has to be balanced, okay, with anything. With everything, okay. Oh, you may you may work for the Lord. July. Some of you guys may be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo, or you may have rising moon Venus, or you know if in Cancer or Leo, or you may be getting married in July or propose something is upcoming or meeting somebody in July or you met somebody in July. But let's see here, summer, summertime. Horseshoe again with the horse. Luck is on your side. Good luck. Yes, it says luck is on your side. Okay. Wow. Vaz, okay, so it says secret admirer. So you, some of you guys have a secret admirer out there. It came out twice. So let's see who's the secret admirer here, guys. Okay, but good luck. Some of you guys, yeah. Uh, some of you guys may love to ride the horse. Be careful, be careful with horseback riding or you have a horse ranch. Okay, firecracker, what I said. Uh, be careful with exploding on someone or be careful with firecrackers or fires. Some of you guys may work for the fire department or this person. But something explosive about to happen here. Excitement. Mm-hmm. Explosive sex, a lot of chemistry here, excitement coming your way, but be careful not to rush in, guys. Take your time. Okay, gavel. Okay, uh, involvement with the law. Yeah, so something about law. Okay, so some of you guys are going to court or work for the law or be judges or something like this. Okay, or attorneys here or going to school for law, but be careful with the law. Okay, bell, announcement. Yeah, there's an announcement being made here. So some of you guys are going to get something official, commitment, getting married like um, City Hall or something like this or getting some type of paperwork out, or certificate um, to get married. But making an announcement here, some type of news coming your way, guys. <laughs> okay. Younger man. So there may be a younger man involved in this situation. Be careful with somebody deceiving you, a younger man. Okay. Yes. What else? Before I end this deck. But there's a younger man coming in, guys. That wants to make an announcement. Bold. Plenty of material things. In reverse. So somebody may have lost out on some money money here. Or this, this could be a child. Or this person here... Um, doesn't have a job or is financially fucked up right now. Something's going on with somebody younger in your energy. It could be a man, woman, doesn't matter. This person may have long hair, kite. Yeah, some of you guys are going on vacation as well or planning a vacation, but I see you losing out on money here. So be careful with, with spending, living beyond your means. Be careful or this person lives beyond their means here. Okay, this person may like to wear their hair in a ponytail, dragon. Some of you guys may be born in the year of the dragon, but beware of self-delusion. 
Beware. It's telling you care required. Care, guard yourself against deception. Beware of self-delusion here. Okay? And not unsuccessful plans. So something is going to be unsuccessful, guys. Be careful. Uh, owl, okay? Follow your intuitions here. But good advice from a wise person. So some of you guys, you know, need some type of advice here. But somebody may be getting the wrong advice. Okay? But somebody needs your somebody may need your advice but be careful now be careful somebody's not taking you for a ride here okay yes because i did see indecisive with a deciding factor here or making a decision here so spirit is saying <clears throat> you need to you need to use this you need to open your fucking eyes for some of you guys okay all right that's for some of you guys let's continue here Mistakes, boom, realization. So spirit saying, don't make that fatal mistake, okay? Because you can't. Because something here is gonna be, it, it's gonna be explosive here. That's gonna blow up in your face. A tower moment is, is gonna happen here. Um, some of you guys may realize at the at the last minute that you're making a mistake, or you realize this already and you get the fuck out of it. But something is gonna go kaboom, okay? Something is gonna explode here. Some of you guys may be in the military as well. But you're going to realize something. You may be dealing with an earth sign towards Capricorn Virgo. Okay, yeah, you're moving in silence. Okay, yes. You're turning your back to people here. Uh, holding on to your energy. Somebody's holding on to your energy, Aries. They can't let you go here. Somebody feel like they made a mistake with you as well, that they shouldn't have let you go. Something is something is happening here where somebody feel like they made a mistake and they're realizing that they made a mistake by letting you go or fucking you over or deceiving you. Something here is happening in somebody's energy, but they're moving in silence and so are you. But they're still holding on to your energy here. Um, Aries, yeah, this may be a water sign involved. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah. But you're all about grounding yourself, containing your emotions here. Yes, you're taking time to yourself. Okay, you're staying away from the drama here. All right. Yeah, somebody can't stop thinking about you as well, but you're in deep contemplation here. Hiding out. Some of you guys are hiding out as well. Some of you guys may love to stay in the bathroom. Fire sign. You may be dealing with a fire sign like yourself. Aries, your Sagittarius. Okay. Yes, but you're all about action, the universe. Yeah, right now, the destiny. Destiny is calling you. But somebody feels like you could try again. But Spirit is saying, you know the ending. Follow your intuitions here. Okay, this is was possibly a lesson that you need to learn from someone. So was it a lesson or do you want to continue? And, you know, kaboom, something blow up in your fucking face here. And be like, uh-oh, I made a mistake. No. Yes, mental health. Yes, so somebody may have mental health issues or you may have mental health issues. Or you work with mental health patients. But somebody's going to be playing with your mental here that, you know, is going to, you're going to kaboom on them. So be careful. Some of you guys may have your dare, yeah, you have crushing on you. You have a secret admirer that's crushing on you here. But this person may have mental health issues as well, okay, or is something wrong with them. Um, yes. But somebody's reaching out to you here. They're trying to connect with you here. But, yeah, but you're like, keep out. Keep out of my safe space. You're, you're keeping people out of your personal space here, okay? Yeah, you're on the right path. So spirits say realigning. It's time to realign. So some of you guys are on the right path, and some of you guys need to get realigned. But victory is success for you. Standing tall. Some of you guys, yeah, you're stubborn as fuck, or people find you to be stubborn as fuck, or you're dealing with somebody that's stubborn as fuck. Some of you guys may smoke as well. Uh, yes, but there's a celebration. There's an upcoming celebration here. Birthday, uh, an event, an announcement here. Some of you guys are event planners or, you know, going to be invited to a party here. Some of you guys are into, in, in, the, in the entertainment industry and pillow talk. Okay, so somebody may be talking about you. Uh, be careful what you what you say. Yeah, sweet revenge. Ooh, ooh. And chaser. Somebody's going to be chasing you here, but it's time. So somebody feel like it's time here. Somebody may have been maybe getting advice from somebody else about you as well, um, their friends or family. But somebody's moving in silence here, and so are you. Okay, yes. But I see an upcoming celebration, or somebody wants to take you out here, or you're gonna meet somebody at a party or at a gathering of some sort. Yeah.
5D. When I said somebody's trying to connect with you on the 5D, okay? They are. Your ancestors or somebody that is still in love with you here. But you're vibing high. You're grounding yourself. You're Stay connected. Follow your intuition. Co-creating with the universe as well. Leo. This may be a Leo coming in, but you're all about taking the lead. You're all about your stability. So is this person. Somebody wants to take action. Somebody's coming in fearless. To express themselves, yes, dark night of the soul. You may be in the dark night of the soul here or reevaluate yourself, but there's a revelation coming. You're feeling crazy. There's a lack of energy or this could be somebody else here. There's a stuck energy, but you're isolated here. Uranus, yes, Aquarius. There may be some type of sudden and unpredictable um, change happening in your energy, some type of tension going on here. Some of you guys may be some type of teachers, professors going back to school, maybe into art, science. Um, yes. But you're taking the lead. It's all about your independence here. Okay, Virgo. There may be a Virgo in your energy. Um, analytical, detail, modest, a thinker, faithful, intelligent. Yes, yeah, somebody may have had a side piece. There you go. That's why I said use discernment. Follow. You may have a side piece as well, but yeah, somebody may have treated you like a side piece. Somebody's coming in with communication. Um, yes, some of you guys may be left-handed. Wow, a divine masculine. Secret admirers coming in. Okay, yeah. Whoa. Okay, Aries. Uh-oh. You may have been this person's side piece. You got out of it. They was trying to take you for a ride. A new love. We're going to see who this new love coming in. <laughs> this person looks good. Yeah, root chakra. This person is grounded, stable, secure in themselves, confident. Whoa. Listen to your instincts. Listen to your intuition. But you're focused and present. Okay, tower. This is going to take you by surprise. This person is a part of your soul tribe. Yeah, they're coming in with communication. This person is a great speaker or some type of public speaker here. Yes, Neptune, follow your intuitions. This is a spiritual union here. Yeah, that's the truth. There's a breakthrough coming. This may be a Scorpio. Wow, divine feminine. Yeah, perfect match. I see moving in together as well. This is divinely guided by your guardian angels. Pay attention to your dreams. This may be a Taurus. Okay, some of you guys are tarot readers or need a tarot reading on this. This person may have been married once before. Follow your intuitions, okay? Follow your intuitions. This may be a Scorpio, but follow your intuitions. Some of you guys may be herbalists, vegans, veterinarians, oh, ve veterinarians, uh, vegetarians, um, yes, or grow your own crops, okay? But let's continue here. Birds, yes, there's definitely communication coming in, or there may be some type of gossip um, going on in your energy. I do see negotiations, um, networking, okay, yeah, but somebody wants to make contact, they're, they're nervous. Some of you guys may suffer from ADHD as well, I know I do, okay, yes, snake, deception. I'm going to see who this snake is, it came out, yeah, somebody's gossiping about you, or they, you you talk to this person, but they don't. you don't know that they're a snake, but there's some type of jealousy, betrayal, backstabbing going on in your energy here. Yeah, you're giving people the side of treatment, though. Some of you guys may be born in the year the snake, geese. Okay, you're on a quest. Some of you guys are relocating um, as well. Yeah, moving in with someone. Uh, some of you guys may have roommates, uh, but somebody faithful coming in. The tower, yeah, shocking. You're going to take people by surprise here, Scorpio energy. Yeah, there may be some type of chaos, upheaval going on, lustful energy, swan, lovebirds. Wow, soulmate coming in, twin flame, a deep soul connection. Okay, yes, yeah, going with the flow, but tornado. So, okay, so there's a there's there's something brewing, or somebody's trying to cause chaos in your life, or disruption in your energy, or with your with your with a partner here. Okay, some of you guys may have lost your home to natural disaster. Okay. But something is coming to an end. Some of you guys are going through a separation. Some of you guys may have felt that you found the one, they're your soulmate, but it came to an end. Or you're ending this because it's not your soulmate. Or, you know, but there's some type of gossip and going, some type of gossip. Somebody's trying to ruin your reputation here. But um, something is brewing. Okay, sudden and unexpected end. Yes, garden. 
okay yeah public venue yeah so some of you guys are, are like seeking out venues for a marriage or you're going to be invited to a, uh, a wedding or you're going to be a bridesmaid or you guys are priests or you know you know you guys are marriage officials something's happening here but you're going to be invited to an event but i see community so this may be community talking about it or you may be ending the community like where you live like uh around people um yes okay moving away from this community if it was a community or different beliefs or uh, you know, people disapprove of this marriage or this soulmate or this union, but I do see an event coming up, meeting, greeting, a party. Some of you guys may be going on a dating show or meet and greet, something going on here, but there's an upcoming party here. You're going to meet somebody at a party here. Now, no, let it be. So Spirit is saying, let it be. So you're detaching yourself right now. You're letting it be, but there's an upcoming celebration. You're feeling complete, whole. You're in hibernation here. You're moving in silence. Okay. Yes. Church. Yeah, so some of you guys are religious. Again, this, you know, some of you guys may be leaving a community or this person belong to a certain community where there's church and disapproval here. Somebody's um, moving away from this. Some of you guys are going back to church. Some of you guys are priests or, you know, preachers or something like this. But religious, relig spiritual people, religious people, okay? But traditional, somebody, somebody traditional coming in. And I do see a marriage, okay? Yes, yeah, judgment, but decisions, decisions. Okay, yeah, but you're going through a transformation here. You're purging, um, but there's a choice that needs to be made here. Scorpio Sagittarius energy. The lion Leo coming in. Okay, yeah, there's a masculine energy coming in. You're taking the you're you're authoritative. You're authoritative figure. You're a leader. You're a boss. Some of you guys are entrepreneurs out there. You're overcoming difficulties. There may be somebody prideful and egotistical in your energy as well. That this, that's making adjustment here. Okay. Yes, yeah, some of you guys are bosses, supervisors. Yes, spring into action. Something about spring, but new beginnings for you. Okay, a fresh start. Give yourself a fresh start. Yeah. There's a surprise coming your way. Sagittarius, temperance. But patience is key. Balance. Remain optimistic here. Something about 30 days or in Sagittarius, you're going to meet somebody uh, in the season, Sagittarius season. Butterfly transformation. Okay, yes, you're reinventing yourself. You're going through metamorphosis. But time to be open. Embrace change, evolution, child. This person may be younger than you or there's a child involved. Um, or, you know, you're getting a new perspective. You're carefree, you're creative, you're spontaneous. So somebody, you may be, have been dealing with somebody that's childish or they find you to be childish, but whatever it is, it's a brand new you. You're, getting, you're going through the transformation, okay, rising up. Inspiring yourself, reinventing yourself, healing your inner child here. Some of you guys may be pregnant, okay, or this person that's coming in have a child or maybe younger than you, or you're planning to have a child here, okay? Yes. All right, so let's see um, who this, this snake is. All right, let's see who the snake is that's in your energy. Came out three times. Damn, Aries. A King of Pentacles, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Okay. This person could be married or this could be a boss. This could be a brother-in-law, father-in-law, uh, a sibling, uncle. But this is a King of Pentacles that's deceiving you here. But this could be somebody that's married, stable, yeah. Death. Scorpio, something coming to an end with this person, or you're ending, you're cutting ties with this person here. Somebody may have passed away as well. Yes, six of cups. This could be a childhood friend or somebody that you grew up with. This could be a brother, a sister, uncle, cousin um, here, okay? Yes, the son, yeah. Yeah, childhood friends or family members, but something coming to light in this situation, something being illuminated here. Uh, with the sun here. This could be a Leo um, as well. There may be a child involved. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Ooh. Okay. Why? Somebody, somebody's speaking up about this or you're cutting something out or you're bringing something to the forefront. Somebody's going to bring some type of truth out. So say some type of truth, tell some type of truth here. 
Yes, six of wands. Yeah, somebody wants to win at all costs. But somebody here likes attention here. Somebody here likes to be in the spotlight and they like attention here. Okay? Somebody may be giving somebody advice here and they're not taking the advice that they need here about someone here. Because I do see a proposal and engagement here. And somebody's a show off here. They just like attention here. What is this? Or oh, somebody wants to win at all costs. Yeah, the Hierophant. This is a Taurus. Okay, this could be religion or this could be um, a marriage. Somebody who's married here. But, yeah, Seven of Swords. Ooh. Yeah, somebody here um, is, being is being deceptive. An Aquarius. It could be an Aquarius in your energy that's lying and running away from the truth here. How about what? This could be about finances and property or a business or a long-term commitment. Somebody's denying allegations here. Somebody may have been, yeah, too, yeah, somebody may be going to court. But somebody may still be attached to somebody that's married that you're dealing with. Although it came to an end, somebody is still holding on to somebody here and their energy. And they're lying about it to you here that... You know that they they don't they don't have any feelings for somebody or this could be you. Two of Wands. Somebody's planning something here. Okay. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Communication, ghosting going on here. Yeah, Three of Wands. Yeah, ghosting. Yeah. Somebody may still be attached to somebody here and they're lying about it. But this could be somebody from your childhood that's gossiping about you, that's talking about you. Um, this could be a child involved as well or something, some type of truth coming up, something coming to light about somebody and their, their, their ways or who they are as a person. This is something going on like that. Okay, but let's, let's get into this because I have to pull tarot. But somebody's going to shed light on a situation about a person here that's been lying and running away from the truth here. Okay? Somebody could be lying about their success as well or what they have. Okay? But somebody doesn't want something to work out here between you and a person or vice versa. Who's crushing? Who's, yeah, justice. This may be somebody that worked for the Lord. This could be a Libra. This is somebody who's fair, who's right, who's just. Six of Cups, this is somebody from your past or somebody that's younger than you or you is going to be, a, you're going to feel familiar with this person here. But somebody from your past wants to return. I uh, see a reconciliation. But there's a lot of nostalgia surrounding the past here. Yes, the Chariot, uh, Cancer, somebody wants to come in. They're coming in. Okay, yes. The Hangman, there's the ladies though. Okay, this is something that you have to think about here. Somebody, uh, you're still releasing or something needs to be released here, getting a new perspective here, possibly leaving somebody behind here, giving yourself justice here. But there's delays here. You have to think something over. But yeah, King of Wands, yeah, this is your energy. Somebody wants to take action, but this is you being single here, taking control back of your life here um, as well. Um, but this may be an Aries or Sagittarius. Somebody wants, somebody, somebody has to release something here or gain a new perspective about you. You may know this person. But I see a new love. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. This may have been uh, a player or somebody that didn't want to settle down. You may have been investing in this connection and they weren't, you know, they were breadcrumbing you. Now this person wants to come in to give back into this connection here. Yes, the star. This may be an Aquarius. Okay. Or, you know, some of you guys, uh, this person wants to heal this connection. Um, yes, they feel like you're a wish come true as well. Power couple. Yes, two of wands. Something has to close out. Sometimes somebody's planning. Somebody's torn between two paths. But somebody can't make a decision here. Somebody's possibly married. Somebody was possibly a player in their marriage here. Okay. Okay, the principles towards happening over Virgo. Yeah, a lot of spying online. Oh, this person may live a distance. But somebody's coming in. That's... Yeah, this may have been a third party or too many people involved. Yes, toxic. Toxic. There may have been some type of magic going on here. Black magic. Too many people involved. Friends, family involved in this situation here. Okay, but I do see traveling, moving, settling down, getting married. Some of you guys are already married. 
um, a celebration. Somebody wants to reunite with you here. Somebody's possibly obsessed as well. But let's see here. Yeah, somebody sexual. Yeah, this is sexual nature. Somebody's coming in fast. Wow, there may have been a pregnancy involved as well. There's a new love coming in. Some of you guys, yeah. Somebody was lying about a pregnancy or lying about the way they feel. Uh, yeah. But um, there is a new love coming in. I do see somebody sexually charged. Uh, unfortunately, this is somebody from your past for some of you guys. Um, and for others, there may be somebody married in your energy that wants to come back around again. Or somebody was dealing with somebody that was married here and they still attached to them or is fucking around behind your back. Something here that they still attached to somebody. Hold on. Well, this is um, this is this is something, but let's keep going. Here, give me two cards to um, <laughs> to start off Aries reading, please, because some of you guys are already married, and this is going on in your own marriage. That's for some of you guys, but there is a married person here, okay? In the energy, I'm just telling you guys right now. But let's go. Six of Swords in reverse. No forward movement. Trouble in the is trouble coming your way. Be careful. Um, yeah, but it's a lack of progress here, okay? There may be delays in travel as well, or you can't move past the situation here. This is stuck energy going on here, guys. Okay, yeah, it's uh, three of cups. This may be a group of people involved, okay? Uh, you may live with people. Uh, this could be family, friends. Uh, somebody wants to reunite here as well. I see invited to like a celebration or upcoming celebration, but it's uh, too many people in your business here. It's a stuck energy, stuck with this group of people, stuck with a crowd here. Stuck, it, it, yeah. Um, what, what, what else is going on here? But this is third party situation here. Somebody's stuck in the past. They can't move. They can't move past a third party situation here. Ten of Pentacles. There's a lot of money involved in investment, business, a house, property. Um, yes. Okay. Um, but I see a windfall of money. Some of you guys have a business with this person, uh, these people, collaboration, nine of cups. There may be a lot of uh, overindulgence going on here, overindulgence, be careful. Um, yes, we're overeating or over drinking here. Somebody may have a drinking problem as well, but I do see a wish fulfillment of yours coming true here, but let's see. Some of you guys are purchasing property as well. Yeah, the devil. Okay, yeah, there's some type, some type of toxicity in this energy here. Okay, somebody may be into illegal activities here as well. Somebody may be trying to get their money right to move forward. You may be dealing with a Capricorn, but there is it's like some type of controlling energy here. Controlling, possessive, addictions, um, uh, cheating. Okay, this could be magic as well, but I'm not going to go there. But um, the devil, somebody's uh, obsessed here. Obsessed, obsessed with money and fame. Okay, just money, money, money. Okay, yeah, two of pentacles. Somebody's not doing right with money. Somebody's juggling a lot here, possibly juggling between you and a person here. But somebody has addictions here, possibly a gambling problem as well, because I see a lot of money involved here. And with the six of swords in reverse, there may have been a, pl a trip planned with friends and family or to go visit friends and family. That's delayed. That's going to be delayed. I don't see you going. I see that you're going to possibly cancel because some of you guys are juggling a lot right now. It could be moving. It could be finances. It could be a job. It could be between people yeah okay but so there's some type of toxic energy around you toxic friends toxic behavior is going on in your energy here yeah seven of cups somebody may be an alcoholic or a drunk but somebody's not into somebody's not facing reality here okay some of you guys may be drinking a lot be careful with that slow down uh but you're weighing out your options somebody may have treated you like an option as well but there's a lot of daydreaming hoping wishing going on here hallucination uh but let's see here Okay, the magician. Yeah, so, somebody may be doing some type of magic in your energy. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, this could be a family doing this, but spirit is blocking this magic. Whatever they're sending your way is blocked. Okay, some of you guys are blocking out your old family. You're very defensive. You're standing your ground or protecting your marriage. Some of you guys are protecting your marriage here. Um, but somebody wants to leave you an illusion here, leave you imbalanced here. So let's see what this devil and the magician who's doing this magic because there's definitely bad magic going on in this energy. Somebody's definitely playing with it. It's like a wish for, it's a desiring something, desiring. Uh, it could be three or more people doing this as well. They don't want you to move forward. It's a stuck energy with the Ten of Pentacles here. It may be over finances. It may be over property. But somebody may want to settle down with you here. Somebody may want you to choose them um, or vice versa. 
Virgo, let's see here. The, the magician is Gemini Virgo. Somebody wants to communicate with you here as well. But there's, there's somebody under magic. And I feel like a family is doing this because somebody's already married here. Okay, yes. Let's go. Yes, this is sex magic. But somebody wants something to happen fast, okay? Somebody did something without thinking as well, but this is sex magic. Yeah, the star, okay? This is an Aquarius, okay? Somebody may be deceiving you, maybe sleeping around behind your back here or have a sex addiction. Um, yes, uh, somebody wants to heal something between you and them. Um, this may, But this may be an Aquarius, okay? Somebody may be masturbating to you, I'm not going to lie. But somebody wants to win you. Yeah, Queen of Wands. C competition. I see the King of Wands. So somebody finds you to be their perfect match. King, Queen of Wands, but somebody's in a marriage. Okay? That's just the bottom line. Okay? But there may be competition around you here. Okay? But somebody somebody is single, free, possibly sleeps around or was sleeping around or having sex addiction here. But so somebody wants to somebody wants you to choose them or, yeah, what I said. King, Queen of Wands. Boom. I can't make this up. Something came to an end, but somebody wants to heal this between you and them. Somebody's in love here, but there's a stuck energy. Somebody's stuck. Somebody wants to leave somebody stuck here. But something has to fully end before something begins. And with the Six of Swords, there's no forward movement here. Third party, no forward movement. Yeah. But somebody wants, somebody's in love here. This is a love spell, a sex spell. Somebody's still passionate about you here. They want to, yeah. Somebody took a spiritual bath so you could be sweet on them, so you could come back to them here. Somebody's stuck in their head. You may be stuck in, stuck over thinking about somebody here, like can't stop thinking about somebody. But this is stuck energy. Somebody wants to leave somebody stuck. But something is coming to an end. But somebody finds you to be the perfect match. They want this. They want you. Somebody's in love. Yes, the temperance. Pay attention to your dreams. You may be having a lot of prophetic dreams, Sagittarius. Uh, somebody wants your forgiveness, but this is about peace, balance, doing things in moderation here, thinking things through. This is also soulmate, union. Yeah, five of wands, competition. There's competition, there's conflict. This could be, again, over property, your family. You may live with some family as well. Married, yeah, two of wands. Something hasn't been fully closed out, but there's a choice that needs to be made here. Okay, somebody possibly chose somebody over you, and now they find that the grass is not green on the other side. But somebody, there's a detachment here. Okay, deciding, should I stay or should I go? But somebody here is stuck. They're stuck. There are too many people involved. Friends, family, getting advice from the wrong people here. Toxicity, drugs, alcohol, sex. Yeah, the star. Yeah, you guys are on a healing journey. The star, a renewed sense of hope. Okay, somebody wants to heal things. It could be friends. Uh, again, a group of people here. Um, but you're healing. Past the, past the situation here. Okay, you'll find the peace. Your in your 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 focus on creativity, um, yes. Now this could be a collaboration that it was a lot of money involved, but somebody wanted to be the leader or somebody wanted to take over. Things didn't pan out the way it should. Um, yeah. You don't see progress in this business, or you know, like yeah, I see you separating from this. Okay, but somebody wants to heal something here. Uh, some of you guys are very successful people as well already, and there are too many people in your energy. Yeah, the fool. You're freeing yourself. What I said, solo. Yeah, you're you're you're, you're gonna be freeing yourself from something here. Okay, you're gonna have a, a realization going on here. Yeah, but you may be dealing with somebody that's non-committal, that's possibly younger, in and out. Okay, flighty, foolish, does foolish does foolish things, but you're springing into action. You're jumping into action here. Yeah, page of pentacles, a job. You guys, you some of you guys are getting a new job here. Okay, but there's an idea being passed off as well. There's some type of good news. You're setting goals for yourself, but there I see opportunities coming up here. Uh, this person may be younger, like I said. Uh, some of you guys are going back to school as well, or traveling for school, or yeah, or going back to, to 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 study something here. But I see somebody wants to to get to know you. Wow, look at this, a collaboration. Okay, this may have been friends with benefits, but somebody wants to come in and start a relationship with you. They want to see where things go. Progress. This person may work out. I see somebody muscular here, but wow, somebody's in love here. You're going to fall in love. Yeah, three of pentacles. Let's work together. Uh, getting married. Somebody's going to propose to you here. I see a proposal and a marriage. Okay, wow, settling down with this person, saving money as well. Uh, but your family may be involved or too many people may be involved, but there may be somebody that's married that... 
Oh, divorce you that's coming in or somebody yeah but somebody wants somebody's in love with you whether they're married or not somebody's in love with you here and i see settling down with this person somebody's sweet on you here they feel like you're their soulmate yeah they want to put the work in yeah some of you guys are somebody somebody may be going to court now but it's it's a lot of responsibilities on someone a lot of burden libra energy but Somebody's somebody's trying to work something out here on their end, but they feel like you make a great team. And again, some of you guys may be applying for some type of license or going back to school or, yeah, or, you know, marriage certificate, getting married without anybody knowing something small. And then surprise, we're married, making an announcement. We're married. Yeah, so, but somebody's working on something here. Uh, but you're working in silence as well, moving in silence. But somebody wants to put in the time and effort here where it was a lack of time and effort. Somebody's coming in to put in the time and effort here. Um, one more. It's going to be a wish fulfillment of yours. Yeah, judgment. But, yeah, it's going to be a wish fulfillment of yours. I see success, victory for you, a proposal. But somebody who gets a lot of attention, somebody's coming in to get your attention. They want your attention here. And I see that you're getting married to this person. If, if you don't know this person, you're going to get married to this person here. But it's removing toxicity out of your life here. Trying to get your finances in order, doing too much, burdens, overthinking the situation, magic happening here, competition, trying to find balance, trying to restore peace and harmony in your life. Uh, but there's a choice, a decision that needs to be made here. You're going to have a major choice, uh, a decision to be made here. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's get some of these cards. We're going to pick a few. Yeah, there may be children involved. In this situation, or somebody wants children, or this person may be younger, or act childish, okay? I never met anyone like you, so you may be meeting, you may be childhood friends, or they they remind you of your childhood, or you may be meeting through friends, like I said, but there may be too many people involved, or children is affecting this relationship. I can't move on. Somebody can't move on from you, okay? Yes. I can't wait to taste you, so somebody loves to do oral hair, or they want to perform cunnilingus or or fellatio on you uh if you love me just say it so somebody here has an announced there's an announcement coming somebody wants to say that they love you here if they never said it but children may be involved here yes i want to be more than friends so somebody wants to be more than friends or more than friends with benefits okay i miss everything about you so somebody's very nostalgic here they're looking at your pictures here um aries yes i should have treated you better uh, follow your intuitions here, guys. You're the apple of their eye. Eye candy, yes. You're everything that this person desires here, but they have some type of obsession and toxicity about them, or they may be in a karmic relationship or marriage, okay, that they're trying to get out of. That's for some of you guys, but somebody new may be coming in um, towards you guys as well, okay? Yeah. Jewelry box. This person may be presenting you some type of jewelry. Some of you guys have a jewelry box, work in a jewelry store, own a jewelry store, but or love a lot of jewelry, but treasure, valuable, prize. This person finds you to be very valuable. Um, yes, they find you to be the prize, okay? But look beneath the surface in your life and you'll find treasure. Phone. There's communication coming. Some of you guys may work in a cell phone business or getting a new phone. Okay, but somebody wants to communicate here. They have they 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 have bottled up feelings that they want to announce that they how they feel about you. But communication messages communicate clearly and create space for open expression. Okay, promise a commitment is coming. I can't make this up. Okay, or some of you guys are already married or engaged or getting engaged. Okay, master key. Some of you guys are getting a new home. You have the key to somebody's heart. They have the key to yours. The key to the answers are coming. Uh, a new car. But new home, solutions, up to you. Bright future. Wow. Okay, toaster. Okay, uh, pop-up. Yeah, be careful with pop-ups. Some of you guys may love your bread toasted, but... Uh, by the, <laughs> but pop up sudden sudden emerging or, or or purchasing an air fryer get ready for a delightful surprise that will bring you much joy get ready for a, a delightful surprise yeah somebody's gonna pop the question and i see somebody popping up on you greenhouse some of you guys may have a greenhouse or this uh, uh have a floral business but growth success maturity expect positive outcomes from your good deeds and past efforts what I said about laws of attraction. So what you do in the past, swift, swift is coming in. Swift returns, swift returns for you.
ascending. Yeah, so you're ascending. Okay, transcending obstacles. Preparing for union. Prepare for union. Expanding consciousness and leveling up. You're leveling it up, babes. Glow up. Yes, they see your beauty. Again, reigniting the passion. Some of you guys may work in uh, Bed Bath & Beyond or a candle store or make candles, but reigniting the passion. Somebody's very romantic here. But major self-improvement, standing in your power, emerging stronger, working your light. Yeah, some of you guys are light workers as well. Okay, twists and turns. Ooh, some of you guys may love pretzels or work for um, ants or uh, auntie ants. Okay, but twists and turns, unpredictable, abrupt changes, hard to understand and unstable situation. What I said, be careful, abrupt changes. Be careful. Everything that seems sweet and nice. No, somebody else is coming in though, hiding out. What I said, so some of you guys are hiding out or somebody's hiding out, avoiding you, not ready to talk, runner, ignoring your text. Okay, delayed messages, okay? Waiting for a message, communication issues, unsent messages, slow to respond. But there's a twist and turn coming, truly stable. So you're right now, you're over your stability. This may be an earth sign coming in, but love brings stability, loyalty, trust, safety, creating a legacy together, family tree. Power couple. Yeah, you're going to have a choice here, okay? Because somebody here was in the energy or this could be or somebody else, but, you know, there's somebody new coming in. Spirit is saying, give this person a chance, okay? So some of you guys are still hung up on the past about somebody. Fuck that person. Somebody else is coming in, okay? Um, yes. All right, then we get some working cards here. business yeah so right now you're taking care of business some of you guys may be in accountant ceo cfos opening up a business self-employment uh work from home accountants finance corporate okay executives uh the people you spend the most time with shape who you are so spirits say be mindful of who you spend your most time with it shapes who you are spirit wants you to focus on business some of you guys may be dressed with business suits as well Hold, hold a lot of meetings, work for stock. Yeah, persistence pays off. Again, with the fire, the spark. Okay, careful. Some of you guys may be mechanics. But follow through with what you have set out to do consistently until you reach your, your end goal. Yes, teachers. Some of you guys are teachers going back to school, like I said. But there's a lesson that needs to be learned here in this equation, okay? But, yeah, schooling people. Some of you guys are culture, coaching people, motivational speakers, coaches. Mentorship, writers, writing your book, telling your story here, blogging, okay, content writing, proofreading, but spirits say work hard in silence. You're going to have options. There's a golden opportunity coming up. Some of you guys may be into social media. There's a partnership coming in. Yeah, some of you guys are finishing up a book or have a book already, okay, but perfection, but spirits saying nothing is perfect, okay? Yes, nothing is perfect. Eye candy, nothing is perfect. Uh, go with the flow. Okay, but there's a partnership coming in. I see social media, a golden opportunity coming in. Um, but Spirit is saying, learn, do your research, take some classes, work hard in silence, write down your ideas, uh, and focus on business, but persistence pays off. Okay? Yes, but be mindful about the company that you keep, the people that you surround yourself with. Gestures. Somebody need a helping hand here, but again, gold. Gold. You have the Midas touch. Okay? But golden opportunities. You may be asked to help someone out or you may need a hand. Give deserved praise to others and you will receive recognition too. You 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 only get what you give. Onion. Ooh. It says protection. Protect yourself. Guard yourself. Protection. Memories. So the memories. Jealousy. There may be some type of jealousy around you with people. Yes. Envy. Divine healing. Mood swings. Mental instability. Somebody has mental, mental health issues here. But somebody may be jealous and envious over you here. Okay. So spirit wants you to keep healing. All right. But there's a divine healing taking place.
banana. Joy, creativity, success, warding off evil, sexuality, uni unity, and comfort. Wow, somebody wants to give you their banana. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so we got my love bananas, I have red onions, but joy, creativity. So this is, you're going to come out of this and your joy is going to be restored. Creativity, success, warding off evil, sexuality, unity, and comfort. Yeah, comfort is going to be restored, guys. All right, let me get one more, and I'm ending your reading, uh, Aries. Inflexible and change. Somebody's stubborn here. You may be dealing with an Aries like yourself or a Taurus, okay? But, or a Capricorn. Yes, but change. You or the person involved are set in ways that are impeding growth. Be more open-minded and see the other person's point of view to expand your perspective in a healthy way. Right. Gain a new perspective. Oftentimes, being too rigid masks the problem that causes imbalance and unrest. Temperance. Trying to find balance. Flexibility is needed to create flow. Go with the flow. Yes. Okay. But I love you guys. That's all I have for you. I love you guys. I'm possible. You're possible. You're a Tosh. I'm out.